In this paper, we present a method that allows animators to easily edit and retarget movements involving close interactions while preserving the spatial relationships of the scene components. Here we show the motions can be retargeted to bodies of totally different proportions. We introduce a new representation called the interaction mesh to capture the spatial relationships among body components of interacting characters and objects. Here we illustrate the use of the interaction mesh in a motion retargeting example. First, the interaction mesh of each frame in the original motion is computed. Next, the characters are gradually morphed to their target sizes. Then, at each morph step, the motion is adapted by minimizing the deformation of all the interaction meshes subject to various constraints, namely bone length constraints, collision constraints, and positional constraints. This space-time deformation is performed to ensure temporal coherence. Next, we show a fighting motion provided by a game company. The input motion contains unintentional penetrations, which are less obvious during fast game playing. Observe that our method can still produce realistic results in which the context of the original scene is maintained. Here is another example of fighting interactions from the same game. Even when the character sizes are drastically scaled, our method still successfully guides the sword to pass through the area without making any penetrations. Our method can also be used for single character animation. This is an input dancing motion by a single person. Here is a motion retargeted to a monkey character by our method. Here is a motion retargeted by one of the existing methods. Existing methods usually try to keep this similarity at the level of joint angles, as they do not consider spatial relationships. They easily fail to preserve the original context of the scene. In this example, the arms easily collide with each other when they get longer. Our method can also be used to create an animation of a character moving through a constrained environment. This is an example motion of entering a car. The available space to move through is very restricted and unless the motion is well planned the character can easily collide with various parts of the car. When the character is enlarged it will still try to fit through the door. Next we show a demo using the interaction mesh for real time character control. Pausing the animation of the interaction at some frame, we can let the user interactively control a body part using the mouse while maintaining the spatial relationships with the other character. The other body parts will follow the movements of the controlled part according to the interaction mesh at that frame. The updates in the edited frame can be propagated to the whole motion by iteratively solving the optimization problem. Here we show two cases where our method can fail. When the body sizes are set too narrow, the tetrahedra of flipping in the interaction mesh can cause the body parts to pass through each other. This can be avoided by widening the body parts and using more morph steps. When the open space is limited and the body is enlarged too much, the bodies may penetrate the environment, as we use soft constraints to handle collision constraints. We can alert the user to the lack of space by giving the sum of squares of the penetration depth for reference. The user can then choose to either enlarge the environment or stop scaling.